This video is um, the janitorial bidding calculator. I'm going to use. I'm going to show you how to use this. So first of all, we want to know the cleanable square footage of the of the location or of the account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in here. Now this account that I'm doing is 17,000 square feet. That's three days per week. So uh, now we're going to go on to number two. So if we have, if we know the hours uh, per cleaning, we could enter it in number two here. Uh, if not, we can always go to number three and enter in our production rate. So now your production rate is you know how many square feet you can clean in one hour. So for this location, since I know that it's three days per week, I'm going to use our production rate of 3,000 square feet per hour. Hit my tab button, and then you can see that it filled in here that is 5.67 hours uh, per cleaning for this account, based off my 3,000 square feet per hour. Okay, so now I can move to number four, uh, price per square foot. Now, normally you would not enter a price per square foot unless you, ha uh, unless you had an account that you uh, know what that price is. So for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter 12 cents, 0.12. And now I move on to number five, price per hour. Uh, for this location, I'm going to price this at $25 per hour. And then I'll move on to number six, the frequency of service. So here I have the days per week, uh, uh, days per month, and days per year. So for this one here, I'm going to go to days, uh, uh, days per, per week, and I'm going to enter in the three days. And I'm going to click my tab button. Now you can see that it filled in my rates here for my price per hour at $1,842.75 and my per square foot price here is two thousand forty dollars so we're you know we're pretty close here we're within a few hundred dollars of each other um, so I'm going to continue to fill this the, to fill out the, uh, the calculator because it's great that it's great that I've got a price point now but I want to make sure how much profit I'm going to make so in this account here I'm going to only have uh, um, one cleaner cleaning this and I'm gonna pay them thirteen dollars per hour so I'll enter thirteen dollars there and I'll click my tab button and you can see that on number eight here that uh, time on the job it's already filled that in at five point six seven hours that's why I decided to only use one person here so now if it was eight hours or ten hours maybe I might use two cleaners you know I'll use two part-time cleaners so that's something that you'll have to decide once you know the, the total time on the job. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to go down here to number nine. So now what I can do is I can actually enter a travel time for this job. And what I want to do is I just want to, uh, uh, you know, use increments of, of 15 minutes uh, for the job. So if, if that's the case, then I just enter 15. And uh, that's what I'm going to do for this job is that it's, we're going to have 15 minutes drive time. So I'll enter 15 on that, and then I'll tab down. Now when we go down to number 10 here, uh, uh, job expenses, we can see that our labor is going to be $1,000.48. And uh, then we got our, our FICA and Medicare and so on and so forth. Now you can see that these in the yellow are, have been already preloaded. These are just example numbers. That's all these are. What you want to do is you want to enter in your actual percentages for these expenses. Now, the uh, FICA and Medicare, we all pay that 7.65, so I'm going to leave that. And then uh, FUTA, Federal Unemployment, uh, currently it's at 0 0.6. But now all the rest of these will vary from company to company. So if you know your, your suit or your state unemployment, you want to put your percentage here. I'm just going to use these examples that, that we have on the calculator. Uh, I'm going to go down to uh, E, and this is other uh, employment taxes. So if you, uh, if you pay a local tax and live in a country outside the U.S., you, know, you enter your employment taxes as a percentage of your payroll here. Um, you know, I've seen where they've uh, implemented a special tax for, for roads or something like that. So that's why, uh, that's where you can enter that number is in here. F is liability insurance. 
So I'm going to enter the 1% here for the liability. And then our G is workers' compensation. Uh, I'm going to use the, the example of 9.5. Now our overhead, I'm going to use the example of 27%. And again, this is different for everybody. Um, you want to... You know, you want to run your, run your numbers on this to calculate what your actual overhead is. And, you know, your overhead is ongoing cost of operating a business that does not generate a profit. Um, create a list of everything and, and, and get your costs on those things, and that will help you calculate your, your overhead price. Because what you can see is that, that we have our total sales of 225000 uh, you know, divided by the 60,000, that will give us our 27%. Uh, I here is supplies. So now what we want to do is we want to put a percentage there of what we feel uh, it would be for this job. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to say um, 5%. Now 5% may be a little high for that, but I'd rather be high than low. Uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, that's what I'd rather be. And then J is uh, equipment, monthly rentals. So if there's any equipment you have to rent, a vacuum cleaner, a sweeper, uh, you know, a slow speed, an auto scrubber, anything like that there, you'd want to enter that price in here. And or if you have to purchase any equipment, you would do so in K. So now for this, for this example, I don't have any of those things. I don't need to rent any equipment. I don't need to purchase anything. It's all my basic equipment, you know, my vacuum cleaners and mops and buckets and things like that. You know, I've got all that stuff. So that's why I'm going to leave these empty. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, tab down to, to see what we end up with here. So we can see here in uh, total monthly expenses for this location, you can see what they're at here based off the price per hour and price per square foot. When I move down here to, to the income, um, this is what I really want to look for because I'm interested in how much profit I'm going to make on this account. So now when we look at the per hour calculations, we see here that on our income, you know, we're going to bill the, the prospect uh, $1,842.75. My expenses are going to be $1,792.76. So that's leaving me a profit dollars of $49.99 or 2.71%. Well, you know that's a that's not a very good percent. You know, I'd have to I ha, I'd like to make more on this account rather than that. Um, and here's a tip for you. You know, we know that the the average uh, profit percent is around 20 percent. So you could use that as your baseline, but remember that is also dependent on the size and type of account. Now it may range anywhere from uh, you know, it could be 3% for a very large account and as high as it could be, you know, 50, 70% on a small account. So it's all relative. Uh, here what you'll see now too is that I've got my per square foot uh, calculated price. Here I'm going to charge the client, uh, the prospect, $2,040 per month. My expenses are $1,855.88 leaving me with profit dollars of $184.12, or 9.03%. So that's better. You know, I think for this account, I'd like to be at least, uh, uh, you know, 15%. So now that I know that, I've got, I know what my profit's going to be here. Now that what I can do is I, either I can raise my price, I can go back up and I can raise my price, either the square foot price and my hourly price, uh, to increase that and or I can uh, increase my production rate which will lower my time to clean. So for example what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to go to 3200 square feet per hour and we'll see if that does anything to, to my numbers and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom because that's where it will that's where it will affect it. So you see that it changed it changed it a little bit you know I've got a, a little bit more percentage here So, and it looks like our per, our price per square foot is actually, you know, getting up there where I want it. Now, you have to remember, too, that I'm paying this cleaner $13 an hour. And we have to keep this in mind because we we all are going to be putting up with uh, the, 
the increase of the minimum wage. Uh, and, uh, you know, states around the United States are going to be all around $15 per hour uh, come, I think, 2020. So that's why we have to make sure that we're making adjustments for all this uh, before, before that happens. Uh, now, so let's say if I were to do this, let's say I move this to $15 per hour. Let's say it's at the minimum wage now, and this is the, the minimum wage that I'd have to pay. Well, now when we go down here, we're going to see that it's going to be a negative. See here on my hourly, hourly calculations, we got red. That's negative. We're not making any money on that. And that's all because of what we just did is we're now we're paying that cleaner $15 an hour. So what we're, what we're not doing is we're not charging enough here. We're not charging enough for, for the account in order to cover all of our, all of our expenses. So that's why the calculator is so important that we use this and we, we can check our numbers, we can make changes, and we can see exactly where we need to be in order to make a fair profit. So here we can see too that on my price per square foot, I'm only at 4.09%. What I wanna do is now is I wanna to try to change this so I can get these numbers up to, uh, let's say 10% profit. I would be happy with that 10% uh, profit for this account. Now that's different for everybody. You know, you may not be happy with 10%. Maybe you want 20, you want 25%. That's totally fine. It's entirely up to you. There's no golden rule that, that says that it has to be this or has to be that percent of profit. But I'm going to increase my pricing uh, to go ahead and get those numbers up. So I think I'm going to go to 15 cents a square foot here, and uh, I think we're going to go up to 28 dollars per hour here. So now we'll go ahead and uh, see what kind of a dis difference we made here. Now you got to remember everything is based off of you know our our expenses. So now when we come down, see now we made quite a difference already. In our per hour calculations, at least now we're making a profit. We're not making a whole lot. We're making less than 1%. But on our price per square foot, you can see now, okay, now we're making 16.86% on this account or $430.25, you know, for profit dollars. So now when I'm starting to look at this, well, you know, this the price per square foot is more attractive to me. I, I, I like that number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up, up there and I'm going to change my numbers for my hourly rate. Because I know that if I'm, if I'm paying an employee $15 an hour, I'm going to probably have to be billing out at least $30 to $35 per hour just to make a fair profit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put $32 in there. And now we're going to go back down and we're going to see what kind of a difference that made. And we can actually check it right here. Here's our price um, um, per hour rate. So we got 2,200 versus 2,500. So you see, we, you know, it was obvious that we actually increased our profit now. So now we're at 8.98% uh, uh, for this account. Now that may be acceptable. Uh, you know, maybe I might take that. It all depends. Um, if I know that I'm going to get all the consumables or yeah, the consumables such as the paper products and restroom supplies and things like that and or uh, I'm going to get all the project work, meaning the carpet cleaning, the window washing, hard floor care, those types of activities, I'm going to be making more profit on, on those. I have better margins on them. And when I look at the account overall as far as my profit percent, that means that I can go from this 8.98% and maybe with the, when I add the rest of those uh, uh, services in here, maybe I'll be at 15 or 20% profit for the account. So that can make a huge difference. So, you know, those are the things that you want to keep in mind uh, when you're arriving at your price point and for your profit. But the, the bottom line is always make sure that you always set your prices to where you're making a profit, a profit that you feel is acceptable for the account. That's really the bottom line. So hopefully uh, you find this video helpful and you can see here that we actually uh, added a create a proposal button 
uh, on the bottom here. And uh, when you click on this button, it will take you to uh, a bunch of proposal templates. So I'm on the janitor, uh, janitorial, so I'm going to go to the janitorial proposals. So now here I've got, there's a number of different proposals that are listed here. So now I'll be able to click on whichever one, which one, whichever one it is. Uh, mine was a general office cleaning, so I'm just going to go here and click on the general office. Now it's taking me right to that proposal. Now I can go ahead and download this proposal and create my template for a three day per week uh, account. So uh, you'll you're going to find this very very helpful, and you know the the more uh, times that you use the calculator, you're going to see that uh, the easier it will get. But in either case. Uh, uh, hopefully you found this helpful and the main thing like I say is to make sure that you're that you're making a profit on uh, on all your accounts.